Hello and welcome back to Open SAP course Enter Next Level Board Building with SAP Intelligent RPA 2 Week 5 Unit 1 I am Mohameda, I am part of SAP Intelligent RPA Development Team Bangalore and in this particular unit I will discuss what are the different connectors available to automate different applications based on different technology and rest of the unit for this week i will show you how to create the bot using those particular connectors so let's see in this unit first i will discuss what are the different connectors available some of them are windows uh, connector that is win next we have ui automation connector then we have web connector to automate web applications as well as uh, SAP UI5 and SAP GUI. So let's see a bit details about each of this connector. So web connector mainly get used to automate applications based on browsers or those are like web applications. Uh, Windows and UI automations uh, connector we use to automate Windows applications. For simple application we can use Win connector but for some complex and advanced UI based uh, Windows application we need to use UI automation connector uh, apart from that we have a dedicated connector for SAP UI5 SAP GUI and uh, SAP web GUI so to SAP web GUI to automate SAP GUI applications uh, accessible from a browser and Hilapi to automate mainframe application so whatever the connector we use first thing we have to make sure whenever we are trying to capture the applications like we have to open the application in our system then we have to click on the capture application and once that particular application is selected from the enlisted application correct technology will be selected by uh, cloud studio itself so uh, based on the technology gets selected element class will also be selected uh, so some of the element class is like uh, text button for web applications sap ui5 have a dedicated uh, element class same for the sap gui application as well in my next system demo i will show you two examples to how uh, I have executed the automations for UI automation application that is a calculator application another is to automate a SAP GUI application that is booking an appointment based on the SAP GUI so in this system demo I will basically show you the execution of the automation and rest of the uh, uh, unit like when you two three and four I will show how we can create those automation sequence so let's go to the system demo in this system demo I will show you uh, some of the automation execution which is based on different connector so first I will show you one automation which is doing sum of two numbers using a calculator application and this automation is based on UI technology UI automation so uh, here i have my uh, calculator applications uh, captured section and uh, here you can see the technology that has been used for this particular automation is ui automation so let's see the execution first so i came to the automation section and i will run my execution here so this is first configuring the desktop agent and then it will open calculator applications it will do sum of 9 and 6 and return me back whatever the result it has read from that particular sum sum so here the execution has started and you can see uh, it has done 9 plus 6 and printed me the result back in my log so how to automate this calculator application i will discuss in my next unit and next i will show you one automation which is based on sap gui application so let's see here i have 
one up automation which is based on SAP GUI application. So it will go to QKX system and it will open a particular transaction SSC1 and from there it will book an appointment in the calendar on behalf of me. So this complete automation is based on SAP GUI automation. So let's run that. So I'll click on test and it will generate all the necessary package and SDK files in my local system and it will start the execution. So it has started the execution. So you can see it is going to open the SAP GUI application first and then it is navigating to QKX system. And it will enter the client and user details to log on to that particular user. And next it is navigating to that particular transaction, which is appointment calendar. And here it will go to a certain date and it will create a appointment on behalf of me. So here it will fill all the details which is necessary to create an appointment and select the time for what it will do the appointment booking. So now you can see the execution is complete. Uh, again, I will show how we can create this complete automations in my week five unit four and there we will there we will discuss in detail. And that's all for the system demo. In the next unit, I will show how we can automate uh, UI automation applications and uh, what are the details we need. Thank you.